classroom today and I have a fun project today and it was inspired by um, one of my viewers, Dustin. He sent me this picture of handprints that his little sister and he did and he didn't know what to do with them. He'd had them for a while and my kissing fish inspired him to turn them into fish. And I think it's a really great piece of artwork and he asked me to make a project using this technique. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing we're going to do is I found this plaque, this very inexpensive plaque at Michael's, and we are going to cover the whole thing with a combination of a burnt umber, I think it's a burnt umber, a raw, burnt, a raw umber, and a medium gray. And we're going to kind of mix the two colors together and paint them simultaneously and cover the front and the sides like this. And we will set that aside to dry. And the next step we're going to move on to, let me get you over here, is I found this really thin birch plywood at the craft store and it comes in sheets of this size. And I just cut it down so that it would fit within our plaque to make it look like a frame. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a very light blue and this will be kind of a dry brush kind of a thing. I have a dry paintbrush and I just put the paint on there and what you're going to do is just very lightly go over it. We're not saturating it, we're just going to kind of leave it to sit very lightly on top and some of the wood grain will show through. And then I'm going to take a very little bit, very little bit of darker blue and I didn't wash out my paintbrush or anything and kind of go over it also and let it dry. Now your wood will dry very quickly and now we get to do our stamping and I have not ever done like a hand stamp like that before so I thought I would try it beforehand since I'm going to stamp it directly onto the wood and that didn't work and that didn't work and this one kind of worked and that now made me see where exactly how Dustin did it because if you look at his picture on his fish, this part, which I thought, well, what good is that to me? It's a big void in the middle. That's where he painted his fin in. What I did, what I did find out is you have to put a lot of paint on your hand. Make sure you take off your jewelry and if you lotion your hands beforehand, even better because it'll wash out that, that much easier. And I'm just using regular acrylic paint and I'm using a poppy orange. What I'm thinking is, because I can't, I'm a righty, so I can't paint on my right hand, which is what I thought I would do, but I'm just not coordinated enough to do that. So i got to paint on my left hand. So I, I want to make sure that I think about my placement on here, because I need to add lips, and probably a bubble or two would be good, too, like he did. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to take it, and I'm going to squish it down on the wood and I'm going to press the fingers down with my other hand a little bit just to make sure I'm making contact as best as I can. Don't move your hand. And lift it up. Yay! I could have done a little more pressure here, but we can do something about that. We can do a quick touch up and nobody will know. The plaque has dried nicely and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing with this tapioca whitish color. The handprint is dry and now we're going to move to the next step. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little painting and I'm going to put the fin in. I'm going to do it in this tiger lily orange color. And I think I'm going to do a little outline of it on top of here. And then on the edge of on the end of each where the finger pig tips were. The next thing I'm gonna do are the lips in this hot pink. I'm just gonna use a skewer stick, take a little paint, and I'm gonna do little scales on here. I'm going to take white and I'm going to do like Dustin did. I'm going to make some circles 
or bubbles, which I thought was very cute, like that. Now, all I'm going to do is let that dry, and then I'm going to put um, a, little, a little either dark blue or or black mark on it just as a little accent just like just like Dustin did on his his bubbles and then I'm gonna glue a googly eye on there and then we're going to um, finish the plaque and put it all together when the light paint has dried over it grab some sandpaper and then all you're gonna do is kind of distress it a little go along the edges and all you're gonna take is some of the paint off so some of that underpaint will be showing. Okay, now it has a little bit of a distressed look to it. And we take our fish. We kind of want to center it on there. And I'm going to use hot glue. But I'm going to suggest that you use a different kind of glue. Let it sit overnight. And you can even do it before you put the eyeball on. And then you can put something on top of it too if you wanted to. But for the sake of getting this done, I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to kind of run a thin bead along the edges. I'm going to center it. Press it down. And here it is. Now, Dustin had said that he was wanted to make something for his dad for his birthday. And I thought you could personalize it even a little bit further. I found these letters and I did it in the two dark colors again. And you can hot glue dad right across the top if you wanted to make it for your dad. And you certainly you didn't, you don't have to. You can make it just to make it or you can make it um, for your dad without the letters. But I thought that would be kind of fun. So I'm going to glue those on here. Again, you should probably use a better glue. But for the sake of getting this done fast. So I can get the video up. I'm just using the hot glue. And there it is, which is also a great gift for Father's Day. So I hope you like it. Thank you, Dustin, for inspiring me. And I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you need directions for this or any of my other crafts, remember to go to my website at www.craftclatch.com. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting. If any of you are wondering why I use both the raw umber and the gray on the plaque, because probably some of you will ask, it's just because I couldn't decide which one to use. So I thought, eh, I'll just throw them both on there and see how it works out.